Hi everyone, today I'm going to finally do an Easter garden. Now I'm choosing to look at the glass as half full instead of half empty. So instead of being really late for this year's Easter, I'm really early for the next year. So I have a little bunny here. And the good thing about doing this <laughs> late <laughs> or after Easter is that I actually ended up getting this on clearance for $4. It was worth eight. So this is just a little ceramic bunny, but uh, yeah, they usually clear everything out for Easter really cheap when Easter is done. So very cute little bunny. We have a white pot here, just a textured white pot. I'm hoping it's not going to be too much white, but this was the only pot that looked like it was a pretty good size. So the plants I've chosen, um, please ignore the sound of claws on vinyl because the dogs have just been brought in and I think they're going to interrupt. I had to bring them in because it was raining. So I'll try and ignore them in the background. And if not, I'll have to go and separate them. Looks like they're fighting, play fighting. Anyway, these are the plants. So this one is an Adramiscus festivus. So, I thought that looked really pretty and I actually kind of was thinking that the leaves were a little bit shaped like bunny ears. I'm not sure where I was going with that. I have a Ripsalis here. So this is going to be our spiller. Uh, it's also a bit of a filler as well. So thriller, filler, spiller. That's the rules when you're um, putting things together with succulent design. And uh, so this looks fairy. So I thought that's why it kind of went with the bunny and I liked the color. And this is my thriller. This is a Calancho aerophyla, so a snow white panda plant. And this is gorgeous. Not only does it look a little bit like bunny ears, but it looks furry and actually feels furry too. So there are plants. And I've got uh, something to line the bottom with to plug up that hole, just a little bit of mesh. Once again, it's from um, Cross Stitch. And I've also got over here, Hang on, I'm just going to have to separate those dogs. So I'm not sure what else I'm going to use in there. Uh, there's a whole collection of crystals here. These were from Collector's Corner. So one of them could possibly go in. Or I've got a whole stack of rocks here that I found outside. I originally was thinking of putting like a little ceramic Easter egg or some, a couple more than one in there, but I couldn't find any. So I've got some rocks that are looking like, this one's a nice um, pinky purpley color. And I've also got some top dressings. So, sorry about that noise. In here is some gravel that is not just plain white, but it's actually got, oops, spilling. It's got flecks of um, a, a black and almost a, a pink, I guess. So I thought that might look nice, but just in case it's too much white with the white pot, I'll put that back away. I've also got some more colorful, not brightly colored, but some more little pieces of, um, well, little tiny pebbles, I guess, just to sprinkle on the top in case there's too much white with the top dressing. Anyway, let's have a go at putting it together and see what happens. All right, we're going to start with the Thriller. So that's this one. And I'm going to put this in the back, not right in the center, but fairly close. I'm going to try and plant uh, these plants quite close to each other as well. Anyway, let's start off with the Snow White Panda. This didn't actually have much in the way of roots at the bottom. Look at that. Anyway, at least it'll be easier to pack in. Right. 
So there you go, there's our first plant. But remember to leave enough room for the bunny. What's next? Let's do our Adramiscus. Take it out of the pot. And always keep your tags somewhere where you can find them in case you forget what the plants are. If it's in the garden, I tend to put the tag close by, but if it's in a little pot, you haven't got room for it and you, it wouldn't look very nice. So squish it a little bit, take it out of the pot. This one actually didn't have much in the way of roots either. So like I said, that, that will be a good thing though, because um, I don't have to dig a big hole. So that'll be really good. All right, let's put this one. Let me see, move it a little bit closer so you can see. I might put this one up near the back like that. And the dogs have started fighting again. So I apologize if I'm interrupted once again, having to go and separate them. Let's put some in here. And I've learned because I've uh, got a mat underneath me now. So this will be really good to catch all of the spills since I'm working at the kitchen table because it's raining outside. All right, so that's looking kind of cute. Let's grab our last plant, so our Ripsalis. And this one looks like it's in peat moss. So if I pull that out, so what I'm gonna do is loosen up the roots a little bit. Just loosen them up just a little bit. It's quite dry. So I give it a little bit, make it, in fact, I'm even going to pull those little roots right off the very bottom there to try and get rid of some of the peat moss. All right, hopefully just, um, it'll hopefully grow some new roots. That's what I'm hoping by pulling off those, the little bit at the bottom there. Try and get as much of the peat moss off as possible. They tend to grow them in this, um, just to give them that head start and they don't have to water them quite so much. But the problem is when you bring them home, if you put them out in the rain, they're just gonna get root rot. So we don't want that to happen. So get as much of that off as possible. And this one I'm hoping is going to spill over the edge. So I'm actually gonna plant it. This is what I'm planning anyway, sideways so that it's actually spilling out the front. Let's see if that's gonna work. Mm, not really sure. Let's have a look and see. I'm going to make some room for it. I do want the pot to be pretty chockers. So in Australia, chockers just means full. <laughs> Very full. Chocker block. Chockers. All right, let's put a bit more soil in there. <coughs> Take out the big pieces of bark. I don't know why they have to put in so much bark. I think it's just to take up space, but it's really frustrating. All right, so that's what we've got so far. Oops, something fell. So I've left room for the bunny there. That's what I'm planning. Okay, hope you can see that okay. So there's plenty of room left. So I think we'll probably fit a bunny and a rock in there. So let's have a look and see, just make sure I've filled in all the gaps with soil, press it down, and then we're gonna add our top dressing. So let's start with the white pebbles. We'll start with them first, add some of those. Okay, make sure that like Laura Eubank says, you lift the skirts of your plants and make sure that the top dressing covers all of the soil. So put some more in here and around just to make sure that we've covered everything. Now this is not going to be a 360 degree design. It's, obvious, it's going to have an obvious front and that's because of the bunny. So let's put that in there. Okay. It's looking like a lot of white in there. I'm just going to get a pebble, those pebbles out of there. 
just to make sure no, that's not a pebble. All right, so I may have to add some of the other pebbles as well, the colorful ones. It's looking different to me than what it does on the camera. It looks very white on the camera, but you can actually see the little splashes of um, pink and black in there when you're up close and when it's not on the camera. So I'll just turn it around so that we can get behind these plants as well. Make sure that all of the soil is covered with the top dressing. All right, that's looking nice. Just a little bit at the front there, near the adramiscus. Push that in there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Let's make sure that everything's covered. It's very pretty. We don't really have much in the way of height. That's the only thing I'm worried about, but it will, I think this will just go gangbusters and grow really fast once like now that it's already in a pot because they were in tiny little pots and they didn't have any room to grow. So let's put our bunny in. Where are we gonna put that one? Let's put our bunny in there. Okay. And let's have a look at our crystals. See if we've got something in there. Let's try a rock and see what one of the rocks looks like. Go okay, put a little rock in there. Let's see. Hmm. No, not really feeling the rock. Let's have a look and see if one of the, what about that one? It's a little bit plain, isn't it? Uh, wrong color. Let's try this one. That might be a bit big though. Yeah, too big. It's competing with the bunny. Let's see what else we've got. Um, well, that's an interesting one. Is that the one I just put back? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> this one's actually got, oh, here's a small one. I wonder if this one's actually got a little bit of a purple coloring to it. What about that one? And I'm wondering if maybe I push it in like that. Let's have a look. All right, I think, I, I think that's looking good. So let's bring you up a little bit higher just so you can see what I can see. All right. And there's Char uh, Reggie again, just pushing him out of the way because he's barking and growling out of the window. All right, so like I said, I'm a little bit disappointed it doesn't have a lot of height, but that's actually going to probably grow. Guys, that's actually probably gonna, um, I think these are gonna shoot right up so what I might do is give you a bit of an update when um, it's grown a little bit. So we've got our little crystal in the front there, but I'm really liking those colors. Yeah, and I like the fact that this is going to hopefully grow down that way and, and drape down there. Uh, okay, I think that's really pretty. But what I'll do, I'll actually uh, bring the camera down and let you have a proper look at it and yeah, I think, I think that's probably done for now. I am thinking there might be a little bit too much white. Uh, I wonder if I've got these other pebbles. I might actually select, I'll just hand pick some of these pebbles to put them on to. In fact, I probably don't really need to do that. I can always take them out if they're the wrong color. So let's just put a couple more of these. Put a couple of these around just to give it a little bit more of just a little pop of color so it's not just white and a couple over there okay yeah it's funny because those pebbles on the video look yellow they're actually not yellow there's a little green one there that's kind of cute um yeah Anyway, I'll take some photos, let you have a look and see what it looks like. And yeah, finally done my Easter arrangement. But I'll bring you in and I'll let you have a proper look and see what it looks like up close. And like I said, I'll do an update when these little guys at the back, the Calancho, um, starts to grow taller. So you can see what it looks like. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the like button to say that you enjoyed the video if you did. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.
So I took those other pebbles out and I just hand picked some of the different colored pebbles that were in the white mixture and I changed the crystal. I thought this one was a bit nicer. So anyway, this is the finished product. It's a very cute bunny, isn't it? So that's what it looks like. And like I said, I'm hoping to get a bit of height when this grows. Um, I don't have, you know, money to burn to be just buying gigantic plants all the time. So I've got to make do with what I've got. Anyway, this is what it looks like and I think it's kind of cute. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.